What's up, y'all? Y'all talking loud with Keish. So, what y'all about to see is footage of Dominique's lawyer, um, Shaquille Ross. And she's basically on a radio station doing an interview about the case. Um, she's saying a lot, y'all. She's saying a lot. And, like, I'm going to let y'all see the video. I'm going to let y'all see the video. And then I'm going to leave my opinions and shit at the end okay a lot of evidence in this video has not been shown yet so watch watch what happens y'all gonna see in just a minute okay It's getting a little uh, hot in here in the studio. Yes, sir. We have um, an attorney here. She's the attorney of Dominic Williams. He's the man who allegedly sexually assaulted um, the young woman from Opera Nightclub. It was Facebook, live streams, and everything. So, uh, Miss Ross, Attorney Ross, I should say, we were talking about um, some of the videos that we had not seen. And then you went on to say that even you yourself uh, assumed because you're a woman had to do some things uh, for yourself in order for you to actually take this case. So what are some of the things you had to, I guess, do a soul search with or whatever you were referring to? Well, I didn't say soul search. What I said is, you know, anytime we do something in society, we have to base it on how we feel. And so in regards to me taking this case, I didn't take the case. This was a high profile case. I already represent a lot of actors, celebrities, things of that nature in cases of this magnitude. What I had to look for is the truth. And I had to feel comfortable with taking a case like this and what was that truth. So before I even took on the case, I conducted an investigation and I've been in contact with Opera since day one. Now her attorneys, well, that's something we'll have to see. But well, they said I, that according to the news outlets, they said that they would not cooperate with them. And that's why they had to go public with the information they had. Yeah, I've been in touch with Opera. Um, Opera was at a preliminary hearing. And I can say most of the things that you guys heard is not the truth. I can say that. Um, and uh, this is based off emotion. I'm smiling because it's very interesting that certain things are based off financial gain or certain things are based off of an objective. What you'll find in this situation is her attorneys, every time a different story is pushed, stories are changed. Narratives are changed to try to fit a certain type of um, uh, allegation. But the truth doesn't change. Okay. See, so if the truth is the same from the beginning, we're gonna stand on the truth. Don't change it when something else comes out. Do do you um did you reach out to Dominique or did he reach out to you in order for you to take his case? No, Dominique called me. Um, I, I got into the office the next day. I think it was on Monday, and I had several staff members who were letting me know that he was on the phone. He heard about me. I get most of the calls because people who know me, um, who I represent. Um, what I stand for in the community. So he found us and he called me very, very interested. He's able to support you or support however much you cost. I'm sure you're very, very expensive. Yeah, not cheap money, so. <laughs> and he doesn't well, look like he has a lot of money, got a lot of money. Doesn't look high profile. Well, well I, I, would, I would caution you on what you say because you don't know who, who has what. You know? No, I asked you. It's a question. Yeah, no, I, I, I would say that at this moment that he, he's paying for my services and he can afford my services. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Uh, I, I, mean, I noticed when you did put in your opening on the tape, it said that you know, everything that happened was consensual. So have you seen something did happen? No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is on the videos, the videos that 
that you guys saw is videos of her, which is what the world is seeing, stop screaming. But up, up until that point, up until that point, thank you. Up until that point, up until that point, and even after that, um, this was a consensual dance. There were seven, several people standing around. Who, guess what? All those witnesses have come to us. We haven't even had to reach out to people. I mean, when I tell you hundreds of people, I have a team delegated just for that. All these people have come forward and have been either close, next to, or in proximity of her. And who, who are saying it's consen consensual? Um, and after that, you know, she alleged that uh, the next day or two or three days later, the detective said that her anus hurt. Well, your anus hurt because you're doing a tour contest on the state. On the hey, stop right there. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Photoshop, but my client was in charge with that, so I don't know anything about that. I just talk about facts. Be a piece of their evidence when they come to you. No, because my client was in charge with that. We no, no, I'm not saying that. It's they say she charged with that. The with no you know, do you think I'm sorry, it's two different questions, so I'm sorry. Let's let's do one by one. Do you sorry. think that the pill in the cup will be a part of their evidence? I'm not saying that that's what he's charged with. Do you believe that they'll bring it up? No, because I know nothing about a pill.
hard the whole dead weight up. So she closed the floor, so picked up and took so picked up and took her to her seat. And she wanted to get the hell up and still continue partying. And after she got up to go finish partying, she went on stage to enter a truck contest after she got on live. So she got me looking at this video like I really did something to her. Yeah, she had messages between her and her friend saying that she wasn't right. But she's not coming out and saying that she wasn't right. I'm six four and she's short. At no point I bent down to try to put anything in her. So it was lots of people around. She's doing all that to get back at her ex husband. They just I guess just walked through stuff. So she's doing all that mess on social media to get back her ex husband and that was more viral. They got my name all in it. You came out. So you don't know if that's him or not? No, 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 no. I can't, I can't, I can't hear the actual, there's been so many memes and videos and recordings made from his voice, so I can't verify from this. So I'm not sure what that is. Does that sound about right, though? Is that the story that you made? Um, I can't, I can't verify that. I mean, I, I, we are, we totally get it. Yeah. But what he's saying is, I'm just saying she keeps the fit like you know the goddamn lie. All right, y'all ready? This is our last break. Let's get everything in. Every question is in the Now is the time. I got one. I got six. Of course. <laughs> Yeah, you're so hilarious. Shawty, you are hilarious. Stand by. Let's make sure we're live everywhere, everybody. Remember, this is the last break. I'm in the club. Yeah. I bumped into this girl and she said it was her birthday. And I was like, turn up. So we dancing and having a good time. And she was on live the whole time. And like halfway into us dancing and stuff, she started acting like she was passed out. So we started to hold her up. And then after a while, she fell to the floor because it's hard to hold dead weight up. So she fell to the floor. So picked up and took, so picked up and took her to her seat. And she wanted to get the hell up and still continue partying. And after she got up to go finish partying, she went on stage to enter a twerk contest after she got on live. So she got me looking at this video like I really did turn to her. And she had messages between her and her friend saying that she wasn't right. But she's not coming out and saying that she wasn't right. I'm six four and she's short. At no point I bent down to try to put anything in her. So there was lots of people around. She's doing all that to get back at her ex husband. They just, I guess they was going through something. So she's doing all that mess on social media to get back at her ex husband. And that went viral and got my name all in. Number one station in the street, Street 945, Ferrari, Sim Still in the Young Jack. Mo Quick, shout it, shout it, streets want to take over. Um, Mo Quick, let's, let's get into it. Yeah, we're talking to the attorney of Dominique Williams. That's the guy you just heard. He is the alleged accused, I guess, of the girl who was raped or allegedly raped in Club Opera. Her, his lawyer, Miss uh, Shaquille Ross, is in the building. So, attorney, you were saying um, a little bit before the break that you couldn't confirm that that's him. Correct. I, 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 I cannot confirm um, the case is under investigation, but I want to correct you on something. Like you just accidentally said, it could have been an accident that he was raped, but you caught yourself and you corrected yourself. That's what the whole world has said since the beginning, and that has not happened. There's been no charges of that. And in regards to even um, this case, there's been nothing that I could use to verify whether or not. This so what's the a, official this charge? Mm -hmm. It's a sodomy, I thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So is that not right? No, ma'am. That's two different things. Yeah. No, I mean, that sounds funny to someone who doesn't practice yeah, law. Yeah, no, sure. it's okay. No, rape is uh, forced penetration. Aggravated sodomy is something totally different. So, what no, is I it? just want to make sure that, um, that, that you they understand it's two different they things. They have sexual relations with the public. That's sodomy? That's what, what is sodomy? No, sodomy has a legal definition to it. Um, and I, I'm going to, yeah, I, I, would, I would say you do 
a little bit of research on that. Can you just tell me what it is? Okay, so, right so aggravated sodomy is basically um, the sexual organs of one coming in contact with the penis or anus of another, but it has to be forced or against your will. So basically, that's not right. no, ma'am, it's not, no, right. not right. No, it's not. So forced and against your will, sexual organ coming in contact with your mouth or anus, and that's why I can say this didn't happen. My client is innocent of that and what the world said in the beginning, the rape. A rape ha never occurred. Okay. Okay. So I have another question. When you heard about um, another, a, a new alleged victim coming forward, did that make you feel hesitant about continuing to keep his case? No, ma'am. I don't, I'm not hesitant about anything I do. Um, I'm very confident. And in, even in regards to that, witnesses have come forward. I mean, we've got so much community support that, so that did not occur. Um, and afterwards, my client continued to have communications with her, and that never even occurred. What about the third a possible alleged victim? I don't victim? know anything about that. My client has not been charged with the third uh, alleged victim of sexual assault. I have okay. a question. Uh, what about the scrutiny that you receive from friends, family? Uh, you, as your, as his lawyer, and I'm talking about Dominic Williams, uh, do you assist with helping that part out? Because he's getting a lot of scrutiny. He's getting a lot of threats. Yeah, I I, I, um, I would say that we're taking all threats very serious. We have a team that's just working on stuff just like that. We're calling on social media every death threat or every concern that we're taking serious. But I, I can assume she's receiving the same amount of threats. When you falsely accuse someone of something, so it's a backlash. I'm saying, yeah, she has to. That's how his and, and, and we've seen this several times. No, it's not just based on the fact that I'm an attorney. It's based on evidence. And the evidence that I've seen does not support her charges. But we've seen that several times even this, this week. Um, where women falsely accused. Think about this. In society, we, thought we we punish if you lie, cheat, steal, kill, but why don't we punish the women who falsely accuse? It's been it's happened several times this week. Mm -hmm. Brown two weeks ago, another uh, four football players uh, at a college three weeks ago. This has to stop. It yes. just has to stop. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Um, in, the, in the end of the day, you know, we can't, uh, trying to um, in regards to bond, we have to prove four factors, um, and I do believe that my client will be able to prove those factors. Um, and one of those factors is the risk to commit any other felony. My client has does not have any felonies. He's a family man, has kids, takes care of his grandmother. My client has never even been to jail. This is not of his nature. He has never done anything like this or anything in his background. So I do believe that we will be able to convince him much. Now, when you look at what she said, the detective said, this is a woman who has five kids who was pregnant. I'll let that sit just right there. Is that you're the bad? Line. I'm pregnant currently. No, so no, am I you're like pregnant. no. She's wrong because mm -hmm. I'm pregnant and I have another child as well. No, so I'll finish because okay. I don't want the public to misconceive yeah. or judge. So what I was saying is my client doesn't have a history of this, has never been convicted of anything like this. This is a woman who went to the club, has five kids, and is currently pregnant, which is what the detective said, oh, wow. not my words was twerking with no panties on that came out in the sworn testimony of the, of the detective. So it's not my words, it's sworn testimony of facts. So we have to look at both sides. We have to look at what really is going on. We have to look to the credibility of the person who's making the claim and whether this is false accusations. And it is. Did she go right out or was she was coerced by uh, other people? No, she didn't, she didn't come right out. Um, the detective said in his very sworn testimony that she left Atlanta past every hospital out. Well, you could have assumed she's really embarrassed, even if a lot of victims, when things happen to them, they do not come right out. They are embarrassed. They do feel some kind of way. They don't know the repercussions of what happens to those who come out. And those people who say that they are not telling the truth definitely make it much more hard for them to come out. So if she didn't, I don't think that has any bearing on whether she does or does not seem to be lying. No, it, no it, it, it goes to credibility. And I think what we have to look at, we have to look at, um, um, is, is this actually true? Like the public needs to hold on to their judgment or their opinion and look at whether or not this is true. We look so quick with the Me Too movement and other movements to just take on what the woman is saying. But That's what because about, it's been so long. But, you know, but, everyone's but, always saying we're lying. Everyone's always saying don't believe but, her. She's but, a whore. Her clothes are wrong. You're right, but what happens if you really are lying? With the cases even this month that have come out, what happens when you really are lying? Then you can get charges brought against you too, Correct. but don't so, shame the ones who come out. So if no she one's is shame, lying. No one's shaming her. What happens is we're just talking about the facts. The twerk contest 
other things that you do, that those are facts. I'm as you went in, in the end. Okay, so because I joined a twerk contest, I can't be raped. She wasn't raped. No, I'm, I didn't say she. So because I joined a twerk uh-huh. contest, I can't be raped. But I can't. can't believe me because I twerk. So I, you, you probably can. Anybody can. But in regards to this situation, in regards to this situation, I can't speak hypotheticals. I can only speak facts. Facts, um, feel it, facts before feelings. And the fact is that this did not occur. And that's okay. what hopefully we'll okay. see. Okay. Uh, is innocent until they're proven guilty. Yes. Don't put them in touch that now. Number one station in the streets in Streets 94.5. If you're pregnant, do you drink while you're pregnant? Um, um, but some women do. I will pregnant. not shun those no, that no, no, do. do you. But I don't drink if I'm not pregnant. I'm um, not yeah, I don't drink. But that has come out in testimony too. Five because because she was pregnant, pregnant and drinking. But what trimester? Some women but drink, though, oh, depending oh, on oh, what trimester. Oh, you go to court. Let, 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 we have to be realistic. That does show some type of credibility yeah, yeah. towards well, you go to court, the person who's carrying But I don't care what kind of person I am. Okay, don't rape no. me. Okay. I don't care if my ass is out. Don't rape me. I don't care okay. if I'm walking around naked. Okay. Don't rape me. Okay, but listen, listen. When well, you gotta try to determine stuff and you don't have one pinpoint and you don't know the truth, you have to go right. through uh, scenarios. Or, like when you go to court, so you, you have to take the person as a bad person to show they go, that they're so, obviously you know, not I telling go, the truth. I can go to jail. No, I, I can go to jail and have a bail yeah. and be innocent. And they'll they 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 won't let me out because of the past or because of my track record. Correct. So that's what they're supposed to go on. Correct. Can't omit facts. Correct, and you can't just uh, use your opinion to say, okay, something happened, you know, or emotions. It's not about emotions, it's about evidence. So it's not about an opinion, what what type of person or whether or not who she is. It's just about evidence. The evidence is this pen is on the table. Now, if I walk, if you walk in and you see the pen on the floor, can you draw a conclusion that this pen fell from this table? No, we can't. You can't draw a conclusion that it fell from there, that it fell out of my purse. You just know the pen is on the table. So you can't then make up facts to exactly. make it fit a narrative to say something happened. And, and what happened is in the beginning, she never corrected that it didn't happen. Why not then? So the world went with drug girl, um, mm-hmm. uh, dr- uh, girl rape and drug in opera nightclub. Why not correct it if it really didn't happen? So then you she have already had an attorney. Yeah, the entire attorney already told her and girl don't say nothing. That's not you know, everybody said what they don't say. People, no, this was fueled by the public, I believe. But tell me the joke. So the alleged crime happened on the dance floor. Right. That's what they're contending. That's, that's what they're contending, and her attorneys have brought Something forth. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> and her attorneys have brought forth more information, which I have those videos. I've also spoken with, with Opera, and Opera said they have not even been in contact with her attorneys. But what the what her attorneys purpose, want right? you to see is the same video over and over. Why not show the other two hundred views? I thought and, you said they haven't seen. And what they what they I said, don't don't seen so. No, Opera is willing. Think about it. I got it. Come but on. you're on the side of Opera. Of course, Opera doesn't How want there to be a rape in their club. Opera, opera has been cold since this happened. Facts. Nobody they want the club. you to prove that he's innocent so that their club can get back popping. Of course, they're not going to let so our people see I, it. I can see you're, you're not an attorney, and that's not how this works. You can subpoena. There's things and tools that with the justice system that well, maybe we they haven't use. done it yet. So the, what I can say is because you don't know that legality side, you don't know the tools that you can use when getting evidence, and it's easy to get evidence. It doesn't matter whether or not someone's cooperating. Right now, if I want to subpoena your phone records, I can get them. It doesn't matter whether or not you're participating. I can get what I need to get to prove the case. So that's she not wrong. the truth. So did you have to subpoena or did they cooperate with you? I have all the videos. No, I said, did you have to subpoena or did they cooperate well, with I, you? They, they were cooperative. Just how they've been cooperative well, there we go. now. What you're saying doesn't make any sense. But my case was <laughs> that they What's would want you to have the video. So if they make them subpoena, it's because they don't want them to have the video. That's what, that so, was what so I'm what, what, I, right what, I, what, I'm, what I'm saying right now is you've just twisted my words. What I said was that there are legal tools that you can use when it comes to getting evidence, and one of those is subpoenas. One of those is discovery. Opera has been in full cooperation. I've been talking to, to Opera in regards to videos. Their attorneys have not received any videos. But according to them, their attorneys say that Opera won't cooperate. That's with not them. the truth. Well, that's what they said. I don't know if they lied yeah, or not, but know. that's what they I, said. I'm here. How do you know attorney. it's not the truth? I'm here as an attorney in front of you. And I'm but ha- how do you know Opera is actually cooperating with them? How do you know that she's they're lying? With the she, 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 no. She, she doesn't, she doesn't want to hear. I already told her I'm an attorney and I, I have all the evidence, right? No, so, no. Your evidence so this is doesn't based mean off, that they're it, lying, does it? Or does your evidence If somebody tells you something, what does that mean? If so somebody, they told you? If I have documents and paperwork, paperwork, what does that show? So they said 
No, Ashley Opera is cooperating. We just told the public that so they could be on our side. That's what they told you. I've so, already spoken. So look, what they, what they, what right. they, I've what, already spoken. What they, what they, so uh, at least what they, they trying to say is he may be spoken. He may be was grinding on her and by her not having underpants, and he may be, maybe came out some type of way and that's it, and brushed against her. That's what they trying to say. They trying to say the actual bumping and grinding part is the crime. No, what they're trying to say is that uh, my client. Um, committed an aggravated assault on the dance floor. And what I'm saying is I have videos in which Opera has been in full cooperation with both sides because they have to remain neutral. That shows that this did not occur. And so basically what I would urge her and even everybody in the public is to withhold judgment until you see all the evidence. Withhold judgment until you get all the narratives. Let's not change or add facts. Let's just stick to whether or not the evidence support that this occur, and that's all I'm asking the public to really do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Let the evidence speak, not emotions or feelings or he say, she say. Think about it. I'm in it. So I have a lot of the evidence that the public does not know and has not seen. And for me to be this confident, I'm confident that my client is innocent. He'll Can be proven innocent. Like, when, when, when can like, the public see that evidence? Right. Huh? We won't see the DNA involved? Um, the detective said um, during sworn testimony that I think they possibly, uh, she did, or I know it wasn't done in Atlanta, but that at some point she did do a DNA test. So you want to be, oh, not if they find out. Uh, I will have them. I don't know whether or not they're actually back at GBI, but the detective said on sworn, uh, under sworn testimony that she had did it. Whether or not it's finished, I'm not sure. The only thing is, in the form of public opinion, People are going to go off when they see the video. Correct. The only evidence people in general will see is the video. I mean, video, it looks like he's right. But she's saying no. Proven the court of law. But in the court of law, it's a completely different no thing. You, can't see you don't see no penetration. But you guys don't have all the other 200 angles. You see what I'm saying? And the I'm seven saying, witnesses that are standing around. No, stop. I'm not going to do anything. You ain't going to get me on nothing. Somebody in the district court. Correct. She ain't going to get me on
relying. You will believe the other person before they believe the other person. And that's that's the whole thing I'm trying to let people know. You know what I mean? If it happens. Then, you know, so, so, so. yeah, but, but if a situation doesn't happen, don't, don't, you know, purport it as though it did happen and let people run with it. You still have time to come out and say certain things didn't occur, but what's going to happen is this evidence is getting ready to speak. That's what's going to happen. And I would just urge the it. public to make, to preserve That's the judgment, right. you know, yeah. and just to know that you're innocent until proven guilty. You're innocent. And you know, and even Chris Brown's mother, it's happened several times. Like, I hope not. With, I hope with Chris Brown. Did you see what happened? Not talking about his past, but with Chris Brown. They held him in Paris, I think, for alleged charges of rape. Then she was released. The girl said it never happened. So this happens all the time. So, you know, we can start looking into these things and women who falsely accuse and lie. I mean, I'm And then, so it shows proof that the the accusation is false. Yes. On those videos. Yes. Several angles, several angles, several videos, several shots, several witnesses, several witnesses' phones, several angles to back up that angle that that maybe that video might stop right there. And I, and if you guys really look at this, two days later she hired a financial, she hired an attorney. She's suing. She allegedly is suing Opera for a lawsuit. Okay, but the, think about this. Think about this. Every time, every time, her, every time, you, I want you guys to pay attention. I won't even have to say anything. Watch how many times the attorney's narratives change. Watch how many times. Oh my gosh, let's talk about what's going on. A lot of people were very I got a bad memory, so I can only do this right now. It's so hard to know. I'm trying to rock out there. I got to be solid. I'm going 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 to be solid. I